There's a lot going on in the world right now and I feel like we could all use some tissues no matter what purpose we're using them for. When I first started my low waste to zero waste journey, there were a lot of things that I thought, okay, I can get on board with this, like bamboo toothbrushes or menstrual cups or reusable paper towels. There were also a few things that I thought, I'm never gonna get on board with that. One of those things was tissues and specifically like reusable tissues. I am someone who blows their nose a lot. Um, I should probably go to an ENT. And tissues like toilet paper are a huge cause of deforestation. It's an environmental concern. We are throwing them in the landfill when we're done with them. And so there's a lot of good arguments to try an alternative to tissues, just like we would try, you know, bamboo toilet paper or reusable paper towels or just things that are more sustainable in general. The thought of like fabric tissues really grossed me out and it was almost like a hard line for me. But with any journey, I mean similar to a vegan journey or a zero waste journey, you kind of have these moments where you come up against something that you think is like a hard limit and you're like, oh no, I would never, I could never, I will never. Then you sort of start thinking about it more and you kind of like ponder and massage it a little and then eventually you're like, okay, I guess maybe I could try it and then six months later you're like doing it and you can't imagine your life any other way. So that's kind of how I was with tissues. But you know, I had people say to me like, well, Back in the day, everyone used to use handkerchiefs and like people still use them. Handkerchief or handkerchief? Looks like chief. Handkerchuff. What? Handkerchief. 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 The way Google is spelling it is like handkerchief. Okay, well. Handkerchief. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that blowing my nose into a piece of fabric and then washing the fabric and then reusing that piece of fabric wasn't really that much more different or more or less gross than like wearing a pair of underwear, putting that in the washing machine and then wearing it again. I think we're just so trained though that like our snot goes in a thing and then it gets thrown away. So my first dalliance with fabric tissues was I bought some from the Etsy store Gina Perceived Mercantile. I've talked about them before. I have also purchased their unpaper towels and their reusable facial rounds. I feel like I talk about these things in almost every video. As much as I love that shop, I really am not crazy about their tissues. So this is what they look like. I find the shape of these to be a little weird. Like I'm so used to having a square. Like I'm not gonna go like that. So I have to go like that. And then it doesn't really leave any room like below for like a second blow. So it's really just kind of like three blows straight across if you think about it. They're sewn in like a double layer of fabric. You can see you can like pull it apart. I feel like when I'm blowing, I like feel the two pieces of fabric like moving around on each other and it, it's weird. And then the last thing I don't love is the seam around the edges, um, which obviously they did to like hold the pieces of fabric in place. When you have this seam like rubbing up against your nose, like it kind of doesn't feel great. And then I found this random like big white square of cloth at my parents' house and it wasn't like being used for anything. It didn't have like a partner anywhere. I don't know what it was. It was just this like big old white, who knows what it was. Maybe it was a handkerchief originally, but um, it was a big square and I cut it into four smaller squares and I started using these as tissues as well. And I ended up really liking these. Like this to me feels so comparable to a tissue that like sometimes I'll have one of these in my pocket and I feel and I can't tell if it's a real tissue or if it's this. When I blow my nose like it has just the whole kind of like face feel of a real tissue. I use these as much as I can but when they're dirty and they do go in the wash then I inevitably have to start using regular tissues again until I've done my wash but I'm ready to try to just transition to using fabric all the time. So obviously when we get rid of old clothes that we don't want anymore, it's great to donate them or try to sell them as opposed to like throwing them away. 
but if they're not even in good enough condition to donate, depending on the material, you can usually cut them up and use them for cleaning rags, or in my case, I'm going to use them for tissues. I am going to be upcycling some of my old pajamas. This is still cotton but doesn't have any stretch. It's just this kind of like stiff but really soft fabric and it feels very similar to this material which I love. So these have been on their way out for quite a while now. I think I got them in 2014. They are Victoria's Secret pajamas which like I can't remember the last time I have like bought something from Victoria's Secret. It's probably was these. These served me well but they have gotten a lot like thinner over the years like tissue thin. A couple weeks ago they let me know that it was time to go and this is how they let me know with a nice big hole in the butt. That was my sign that I needed and I am now going to turn these into tissues. So I'm gonna do the bottoms first and then I'm gonna do the top. I'm gonna cut the cuffs of the legs off first and then I am going to cut up the seams because like I said I don't I don't want like a seam in the middle of my face while I'm blowing my nose so those will probably be at like the edges of some of the tissues what's great about this is you really can't mess it up because you know you are upcycling them and so you're already giving them a better life than just like sitting in the landfill Now I've got this one long strand or sheet and yeah I'm just gonna start cutting some tissues because I'm just gonna kind of make a bunch of squares first tissue complete so here I've got this sort of area where it goes out a little bit where the leg met the crotch area so I'm just gonna kind of trim that off so that it's just a straight line feels pretty good against my nose Okay, so I am done with my pants, and now it is time to move on to uh, the top. So with this, I'm first going to cut the sleeves off, and then I will probably cut up the side seams, or just rip, because it looks like they will rip pretty easily. my back. Okay. Last piece of fabric. So I'm just going to cut along the seams and then I'm going to cut off the collar and then I'm going to see where we are. Okay, that's the last one. We are done. Oh my god, back is killing me. This is pathetic. This is our pile of tissues. Oh my god, it made so many more than I thought. Let's see how many it made. Ow. Ow. Oh, my foot's asleep. Ugh. Eight. Forty-nine. Forty-nine. 
49 tissues. How many tissues are normally in a box of tissues? 75. So from an old pair of pajamas that were never going to be worn again, I made two thirds of a box of tissues worth of reusable tissues. Are they all the same size? Are they all the same shape? Absolutely not. But you know what? It really doesn't matter. I'm literally going to be blowing snot into them. This is my scrap pile. Not too bad, especially when considering that it would have all been one giant scrap pile had I not done this. I hope you try it. If you've got some clothes that are no longer wearable that you're not really sure what to do with, consider this. So that's it for my tissue tutorial. It's time to go cry now. Oh, feels so good.